Hello, welcome to Powerland Science and Maths TV. In this video, we are solving for the value of x. And we are going to do this by applying one of the properties of logarithm, which says that if we have log of a exponent b, this is the same as b log a. So we are going to apply this property to rewrite this fraction. And so this gives us 4x plus 32 log of x minus 3 all divided by x log of x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to 10. Now, if you take a look at this quadratic equation, by means of factorization, you realize that x squared minus 6x plus 9 gives us x minus 3 all squared. Since expansion of x minus 3 all squared gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. You can know that you can write x squared minus 6x plus 9 as this by inputting by equating x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. And by solving, you end up getting one value of x, which is 3. But because this is a quadratic equation, it means that we must get two values of x. But in this case, the values of x are the same, which is equal to 3. And so it is the same as x minus 3 all squared. So what I'm going to do here now is that I'm going to make a substitution for x squared minus 6x plus 9 with x minus 3 all squared. But before that, let's confirm if x minus 3 all squared gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. So we do that by expanding this. So this is the same as x minus 3, x minus 3. And this is giving us x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 and this is the same as x squared minus 6x plus 9. So like I said, we are going to make a substitution for x squared minus 6x plus 9 with into bracket x minus 3 all squared. So I'm going to get 4x plus 32 log of x minus 3 all divided by x log into bracket x minus 3 all squared and this is equal to 10. So I'm going to get 4x plus 32 log of x minus 3 all divided by applying this same property of logarithm we can write this as this two comes to multiply the x so we'll get 2x log of x minus 3 and if you and this is equal to 10. now if you take a look at this you realize that log into bracket x minus 3 is common both in the numerator and the denominator and so this two cancels out and we are left with 4x plus 32 divided by 2x this is equal to 10 and so this gives us 4x plus 32 just going to cross multiply which gives us 10 into bracket 2x and this is the same as 4x plus 32 is equal to 20x now, grouping like terms, I'm going to get 32 is equal to 20x minus 4x. And this is the same as 32 is equal to 16x. Now, dividing both sides by 16, dividing both sides by 16, we end up getting x to be equal to 2. Thank you for watching this video. 
and please leave a comment behind and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.